welcome to Crafty Friday. In this video, I am making some Christmas cookies. I'm going to show you how to make your own colorful holiday swirl sugar cookies. And I think that they are super cute and of course tasty for those of you who like sweets, of course. So before we get started on this video, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be making DIYs on my Sarah Lim fashion channel as well from here on out. But I'm going to be doing more like girly things on there and not as crafty, more like fashion DIYs and stuff and maybe some home decor. So check out my earring tutorial on there. Um, it's to make Christmas light earrings. They're super cute. And I also have a nail tutorial and it's on these candy cane stripes slash sparkle nails. And yeah, look at how pretty these are if it focuses. There we go. They're super pretty. I will also have, of course, fashion videos on there and my 2013 Black Friday haul. So if you're not subscribed to Sarah Lynn Fashion or you've never checked it out, go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into making some cookies. It's sugar cookie time. So I'm going to take a giant mixing bowl, a measuring cup, and a large spoon in addition to the sugar cookie mix, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this puppy up and I'm going to pour it into the bowl. So all the powder is going in there and then I'm taking the ingredients that the bag calls for. So I'm taking some butter and then I'm cracking one egg and I'm putting that into the bowl. And I'm going to mix all that around, stir it up real nice and make sure all the clumps are gone. So you just keep stirring until you just can't stir no more or until it's done. I'm taking flour and it will say on your bag how much you need but I honestly didn't measure it out. I just put in some flour and I was mixing it around and once it felt like it was not sticky anymore and it wasn't sticking to my hands, then I just stopped adding flour. So I have four equal sections of dough. I'm going to put food coloring into two of my pieces. For this one on the right, I'm taking my green food coloring and putting a couple drops. And the one on the left is getting the red food coloring. Once I have the food coloring in that, I have to mix it completely. So I'm just taking the red and its counterpart away for a little bit. They're just going to go chill and hang out for a little bit while I work with the green and its friend. So we're going to put some more flour on the baking sheet. I just have a baking sheet covered with foil. I'm taking the plain dough and I am going to push it down and flatten it out. If you have a rolling pin, it will help you out, but I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm doing it all by hand. You're just going to flatten that into a rectangular shape. Once you have the shape you're going for, you're going to take the colored dough and you're going to roll that out into the same shape, flatten it into the same shape. And here you can see that once my green is flattened, it's kind of hard to pick up all in one piece, so I'm taking it in sections. I'm ripping it apart in sections and just making it line up on the plain dough part. It's kind of like a puzzle. I'm putting it back on. I'm going to start from the left side which is the really tall side and I am going to roll that. Once you have this log of dough you're going to put it in the freezer and I put mine in the freezer for probably about half an hour. This time I wanted to try another experiment so I made my rectangle kind of a different shape. It's more of a square rectangle than a really long one. So I have the regular dough and then I'm putting the pinky red dough on top. And this time I kind of did it in my hands first and then just set it all down at once so it didn't break apart. And I'm smoothing it over and flattening it down while it's on the dough because I just wanted to do it that way. And of course we're rolling this into a log as well. So I just started at the top and I'm rolling it down and I'm kind of pushing in the ends as I do this. And once I do have that log I'm kind of pushing it and shaping it a little bit, making it not as long, just to condense it and make the cookie pieces a little bit wider. Now we will get to the cutting. I'm just using a sharp knife and this piece of dough has been in the freezer for, like I said, about 30 minutes and I'm just cutting sections. You don't want them to be too thick, but I didn't measure. I just kind of eyeballed it. And I'm just cutting that log down and cutting slices off of that. 
until there are no more to cut, of course. So I'm just cutting the whole thing into little tiny swirl slices. I'm just slicing that as well. And now you can see all of my slices. There's a lot of them and they look so cute together. Look at that, they're very Christmassy. Or if you're not watching this during Christmas time, you might think they look like strawberries or watermelon or something. Now I'm putting the cookie pieces onto the baking sheet. And for mine, I only put on nine at a time. So if you have multiple baking sheets, then it'll be good because you you only want to put so many on at a time because they have to be a few inches apart from each other so I kind of rounded them out a little bit more and then I put them on the baking sheet and then you're going to bake and it said seven to nine minutes on the package of my sugar cookie mix so the first batch will probably take less time to bake than your next batch if you have a next batch so for my first batch I did put those in for nine minutes but for my second batch, and I don't think I showed these, they got a little burnt and I had only put them in for seven minutes. Anyway, I really like how they turned out. I think they're really cute and they're very tasty. So if you end up making your own swirl sugar cookies, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. And if you do different colors, that would be amazing because I want to see how different colored ones turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please click like to let me know. And there will be more holiday videos coming up very shortly. I'm also doing Luminous Day in December, which is every Wednesday in December. I'm going to be making a rainbow loom tutorial that's in addition to Crafty Friday so no Crafty Friday will be Rainbow Loom but every Wednesday in December only will be a Rainbow Loom tutorial I had to swallow <laughs> uh, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and if you want to see more because if you subscribe it will let you know every time I post a new video I hope you guys have a great rest of the day I will see you soon bye Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make melted crayon ornaments. People sent in pictures to me via Instagram, um, hashtag SoCraftastic was used to send those to me. It was really, really pretty, and I'm glad you guys tried them out. It's windy outside. Shh. Yum, yum, yum. Volume down, wind. La, 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 la,